A new tubeless insulin pump is headed our way and it is called Nia. It's coming from a Swiss diabetes management firm called Pharmasense, and it is part of a lineup of three pumps. The one that's made news most recently is the Nia Essential, the first of a lineup of three pumps that Pharmasense plans on producing. One of the Nia iterations they plan to produce has an insulin pump and CGM all in one. And that is a first of its kind, at least to my knowledge, and a very exciting product to be able to wear just one device instead of two. Pharmasense has sent the Nia Essential to the FDA for 510K clearance, meaning that this pump could be coming in the US very soon. Today I'm going to tell you everything there is to know about the Nia Essential and the entire lineup of three pumps that Pharmasense plans to produce. I'll also even show you a bunch of footage that they had on their YouTube channel and kind of walk you through what filling it looks like, how long it can be worn, and all the steps that go into putting on the patch. If you enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. And for more videos like this, all the top news and my podcast, which is all about diabetes tech news and management, that comes out on Mondays here and on podcast platforms. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and you can click that bell for alerts. Also, if you want even more content, I've got a Patreon on there. I've got exclusive interviews and Q and A's and a lot more content. So. Go check it out. It helps support the channel and you get some extra videos to watch with, with this base. To check out the Patreon, there's a link in the description. All right, let's get into the Nia pumps. Before we get into what these pumps look like, let me give you some context on where this pump is right now. In November 2023, Pharmasense received the ISO 13485 certification. This is an internationally recognized standard certification that includes the entire process of designing, developing, manufacturing, and distributing insulin infusion pumps and accessories. After Pharmasense received that, it said that they were ready to apply for FDA submission and CE mark in Europe, but they wanted to start with FDA first. In January of 2024, they applied for the FDA clearance and it's currently with the FDA now. Pharmacent CEO Marcel Both says, our submission to the FDA is a pivotal step towards making advanced diabetes care accessible. We are committed to transforming the experience of diabetes management through our innovative technology. As we anticipate a favorable review from the FDA, Pharmasense is gearing up for a market launch of our Nia Essential insulin pump system. Recognizing the importance of a strong partnership for successful market entry, Pharmasense is engaging in trade sale discussions. That's exciting. It sounds like Pharmasense is very ready to get this on the market. They need that FDA clearance and once they get it, they'll be ready to put it out on the market pretty quickly. Let's start with the main pump that Pharmasense has sent in with the FDA right now, and that is the Nia Essential. So this insulin pump is a basal bolus pump. It's meant to replace pens, but it doesn't replace like a closed loop system. This isn't a closed loop pump like we have with Omnipod 5 or Tandem's T-Slim X2 with Control IQ. This is only basal bolus. It doesn't talk to a CGM. That is a plan for their three pumps that they wanna come out with. In fact, the second and third one will either connect to a CGM or incorporate a CGM all in one, but they need to start somewhere and they're starting with this pump. All three pumps have Bluetooth connection. A logo on the pump illuminates to identify connection. The Nia Essential pump can only bolus from the pump and not an app, but it has a configuration app that the pump connects to and it shows basal and bolus settings. On this app, you can customize delivery treatments, create profiles, and set onboard bolus increments, which I'll get into. The Nia Essential is a three milliliter pump. That is one milliliter more than what the Omnipod holds. The Omnipod currently only holds two milliliters, which is 200 units. Pharmasense says that these pumps will have an extended wear time, but they haven't said a specific amount of time. Hopefully this means over the 80 hours that Omnipod gives you. Omnipod is a three day pump, but also has like an eight hour grace period. Maybe because the Nia Essential has 50% more insulin, the three milliliters, maybe we'll get another one, two or three more days wearing it, which would be such a nice feature to have. 
This pump is semi-reusable, which is a breath of fresh air in the diabetes tech world because there is so much waste. There is one reusable electronic cover. This is basically the brains of the pump that you'll be able to reuse for two years. On the cover, you can see three different icons. There is a battery icon, a like hazard icon, and a Bluetooth icon. There are two buttons that go on the top and bottom where the hazard and the battery button are. These are both used for bolusing and power, which I'll get into in just a bit. This is an image of what the starter kit looks like. In the starter kit, there is the one reusable pump cover, which has a lifespan of two years, six disposable patches, and six vial holders. These are gonna be used for filling up the insulin pumps. There's also what seems to be a reusable filling aid. This will be used with each patch pump as you're filling in the insulin. And it seems like to me, since the starter kit doesn't include six of these, that this will be used each time you wanna put insulin into a new pump. Here's what the fill process looks like. First, you'll remove a filling aid and attach the pump cover to the filled patch. Using the filling aid, you can measure out anywhere from one to three milliliters of insulin. And then when you're done with that, you remove the filling aid from the patch pump. Next, you attach the pump cover to the patch pump, push down, and it will enter coupling mode. It even plays like a fun little sound. The pump will automatically start priming the cannula and it turns red when it's in stop mode and ready to be placed on your body. Next, all you gotta do is remove the adhesive, place it on, and then press the three buttons all at once and it will insert the cannula. Inside each pump, there's a 90 degree steel needle and this is what inserts the cannula. All bolusing is done right on board. To bolus, you press and hold the top and bottom button and you'll hear an ascending sound to enter bolus program mode. -na 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 -na. In this demo that uh, Pharmasend showed on their YouTube channel, they have it set to one unit per increment. In this demo, they had it go to four units. Then what the pump did was it echoed those four beeps, kind of confirming you wanted four units, right? So from there, before it will deliver those four units, after it confirms to you that much, you then need to confirm that. If you don't confirm that in time, then it will erase that and it will go, it will give you a little chime letting you know that the bull has failed. This is a good safety mechanism to have in case you set it to give you 12 units and you're like, oh my God, I did not mean to do that. There's still a fair amount we don't know about the Nia Essential. And as I learn more, I will let you know the extended wear time, how long is it gonna last? What makes this better or worse than an Omnipod? Right now, obviously, what makes it worse than Omnipod 5 is that it's not closed loop. But like I said, this is a line of three pumps. There is the Nia Essential. This is the first basal bolus pump that is cleared, that is with the FDA right now. Next, they plan to release the Nia Advanced. And what this would do is it'd be the same pump with a lot of the same features, but it would connect to an external CGM. Freestyle Libre, Dexcom, maybe other CGMs. Who knows? There, there's not much information on that. But I think what may be the most groundbreaking pump that they want to that they want to produce, and the third in their lineup is the Nia Signature. This would be both an insulin pump and a CGM all in one. That's like the dream device. I mean, the dream device is a functioning pancreas, but the dream device for technology would be to have one device that stays on you and is a CGM and a pump all in one, instead of having to put them in, in different spots and then worrying about if they're connected to each other, this would be a one device you put on and, and maybe because of the extended wear time, it would be on you for a while. There's not a ton of information out there, but as soon as they release more information, I'll let you know. I'm also working, I emailed them, I'm working to get someone from Pharmasense on the podcast to answer all the lingering questions we have so be sure to let me know the questions you have in the comments. As it stands, the Nia Essential, would you wear this pump? Would you opt to wear something that lasts longer, holds more insulin, but doesn't have that closed loop like the other systems out there? Or would you prefer to wait for the Nia Advanced or the Nia 
signature, I mean the Nia signature, I think that that's something that a lot of people would consider and would put a lot of fire under the competition like Omnipod and Dexcom because it would be an all-in-one device. You'd almost imagine that Dexcom and Omnipod and Tandem would all work together to implement their devices together or on their own create devices that have both, which would be absolutely nuts. But what I love most about this new tubeless pump is competition. You've got Omnipod out there. It is used by a lot. I mean, I'm wearing it and I love it. Um, then you've got Tandem working on their Siggy uh, tubeless pump. I've done videos on that. You can check them out on this channel. Tandem also has their Moby, which is super small. Um, this isn't a real one, but this is about the same size. This is a, a little drive I got um, from them at CES. But this is the size of Moby. It's super small. Um, it is on the way to, to tubeless. Then they've got their Siggy. And then you've got the Nia Essential and the, this whole lineup of pumps that PharmaSense plans on, on making. So I'm very excited about the future of Tubeless. Are you? Let me know in the comments. As always, be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and my podcast, which comes out on Mondays here and on all podcast platforms. And if you want even more content, check out my Patreon. I'm Justin and I'll take you later.